It's time to let it rip. Okay, let's give it a shot. Dragoon, attack! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Beyblade battles. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking back over this glorious anime to count down which deadly game of spinning tops rocked our socks off back in the day. Please keep in mind, we'll only be looking at the original series and its subsequent sequels, which means we won't be covering newer entries like Metal or Burst. But if you want us to cover them in a future video, be sure to let us know in the comments below. It's not like this is the end, right? This is only just the beginning! It is? Number 10, Kai vs. Brooklyn, Beyblade G Revolution. This is such a complete waste of my time. This says you're wrong. So watch and learn. Big deal. There's no other way of saying it. Kai got royally battered in this match. <laughs> Despite his impressive skills, he was woefully unprepared to take on the force of Vega's ultimate blader, Brooklyn. I need more energy. <laughs> With the strength of his bit beast, the laid back pretty boy managed to push Kai to the very edge, severely wounding him in the process. However, in the mother of all comebacks, Kai bested his foe after declaring his adoration for the sport. That's why I have to win this battle. Because Beyblading means more to me than you could ever understand. It's not just a game to me. Honestly, Kai went through the ringer so badly in this one that we kind of thought he kicked the bucket by the end of it. My days of blading are over. Number 9, Tyson vs. Zeo. Beyblade V-Force. Beat him! Crush him! Burning Cerberus! Zeo? The final match of this sequel series had been built up to no end. You were our friend, Zio. I still don't understand why you left and turned against us. Why had Zio suddenly flipped out? Why was he trying to take down Tyson and the gang? And what the hell was up with his creepy scientist dad? Well, as we eventually found out, Zio was a robot. <gasps> you heard that right, a robot. One who was trying to take the power of the Bit Beasts in order to become human. Considering he was armed with an incredibly powerful bit beast of his own, it's a miracle that Tyson didn't end up getting the Terminator treatment. Hey, we're buds, and just because you don't have a pulse doesn't mean we can't be friends. Number 8, Ray vs. Brian, Beyblade. Hi. Good luck, my friend. In the closing chapter of the original series, it was up to the Blade Breakers to take down Boris's nasty squad, the Demolition Boys. With Kai losing the first round, the pressure was on Ray to keep the lads in the game. But it wouldn't be easy. Ray took an absolute beating from his opponent, who used underhanded tactics to directly hurt him throughout the bout. Unlucky for Brian, when Ray has that look on his face, there's absolutely no way he's going to quit. Yes, the final battle between Tala and Tyson was metal in its own right, but it was following up from this display of raw emotion. Tiger Claw! Number 7, Tyson and Daichi vs. F Dynasty, Beyblade G Revolution. Three, two, one. Man is red, man is red. A 2 on 2 match is always a great way to liven things up, though it's fair to say that Tyson and Daichi had their work cut out for them, since they were clashing with two siblings who, when united, turned into a powerhouse. Oh no! However, despite their Cirque du Soleil routine, F Dynasty couldn't stop our favorite Dragoon duo from pushing forward and achieving victory. 
looks like Tyson and Daichi have figured out that two Beyblades are better than one. They may have put on quite the performance, but Julia and Raw just couldn't measure up to a good old bromance. That's what real Beyblading is all about. For sure! Number 6, Tyson vs. Brooklyn. Beyblade G Revolution. <laughs> hmm, what's so funny anyway? The final match of the original saga, and wouldn't you know it, it's the most insane one of the bunch. Goodbye, Tyson! After losing to Kai, Brooklyn's psyche is fractured beyond repair, causing him to lose control of his bit beast. Consequently, reality itself gets turned on its head, which forces Tyson to literally finish the match while flying. Boy, someone's having a bad new day, huh? It's definitely out there and has a hefty moral serving about good sportsmanship being the be-all and end-all, but it's still a hell of a high note to go out on. Number 5, Tyson vs. Max, Beyblade G-Revolution. I know I'm gonna win this. I know I have what it takes. I won't let my team down. Ah, Max, the nice guy, the lad. The one everyone can rely on and never does anything unexpected, at least until this match. Uh, fight your seal with everything you've got! After the Blade Breakers break up so each can have a chance at becoming champion, Max goes head to head against his old comrade, and boy does he bring his A game. Engine gear, full power! Uh. Dispensing with the niceties, Max's unbeatable defense and improved Beyblading skills really did a number on Tyson, but once again failed to land a finishing blow. Now just imagine what would happen if he ever got angry. By the way, I'm glad a friend of mine won. I hope I don't sound like I'm bragging, but I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> Number 4, Tyson vs. Kane, Beyblade V-Force. It's over! Tyson can't win this battle now! <gasps> His body can't take the strain! By far the highlight of the second series, the Blade Breakers found themselves fighting dark reflections of themselves when going up against Team Psychic, a group of individuals who came equipped with robotic versions of their bit beasts. As the final challenge, Tyson had to overcome Kane, whose sanity started to diminish after his Cyber Dragoon went full on berserk. You're very lucky, Tyson. You're about to see what happens when the strongest blader and the strongest bit beast come together. <laughs> It's a deadly confrontation that saw the end of the Cyber Bit Beasts and set stage for the future showdown with Zeo, one that almost cost Tyson his head. Number 3 Kai vs. Rei Beyblade G Revolution. No matter who gets in my way, I will be victorious. You have to feel sorry for Ray. He's the only main character that's probably lost more than he's won, sometimes in the most ridiculous ways possible. I know that Lee lost, but it doesn't matter. If we stick together, we'll never lose. You're right, Ray. White Tiger X is a real team. Yeah. However, we can safely say that even though he once again failed to score a victory, he shone like a lightning bolt in this semi-final round. Seriously, it gets to the point where he almost goes Super Saiyan. Ah! White Tiger X! Trigger attack! Ah! Alas, he's still no match for Kai's secret technique, one that managed to cleave a boulder in half. Somehow. Kudos for trying, Ray. At least you'll always be the resident ladies' man. We are so totally proud of you, Ray. Thanks, Mariah. Don't forget this. Number 2, Kai vs. Blade Breakers, Beyblade. Look down there! Huh? Oh. It's Kai! After turning his back on the team in exchange for the powers of Black Dronza, Kai fully embraced his role as a villain to the point where he was happy to try and steal his allies' bit beasts for himself. Sip it and fight! I'll let my blade do the talking! With a frozen lake serving as their battleground, Kai almost succeeded in his mission, 
until he discovered that not even he can compare to the Blade Breaker's teamwork. Who are we? Blade Breakers! After getting his ass kicked and his worldview shattered, Kai ends up doing a total 180 and finally starts to embrace the team's spirit. And that took him long enough. Besides, dude, black was never really your color. Number 1 Tyson vs. Kai Beyblade G Revolution. I'm just warming up. Yes, yeah, same here, Kai. Boy, Brad, this is the ultimate fighting battle of all time! If you thought spinning tops weren't dangerous, just wait until you see this. I've got to give you credit, Tyson. You're tougher than I thought. But every dog has its day, and it's time to put you back in the doghouse. With the championships coming to a close, it's down to these two long-term rivals to take the prize. As it happens, the overwhelming power of Dragoon and Dranza essentially destroys the stadium, forcing Tyson and Kai to battle it out inside a pit with nothing more than their competitive spirits and some serious arm flailing to see them through to the end. As expected, Tyson once again manages to reclaim his title as the world champion, and let's just hope they didn't charge him the repair bill for the stadium. Well, it's not what I wanted, but if I have to lose to anyone, I'd want it to be Tyson. Way to go, buddy. You deserve the win. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and subscribe for new videos every day.